Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Country singer Jason Aldean is opening a new restaurant and bar on the Las Vegas Strip. Good morning and thank you so much for joining us on 7 at 7. I'm Cynthia Puga. We begin with Top Story, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. A driver was fatally shot while driving on Interstate 15 last night. Metro Police say the shooting happened at about 8.30 p.m. in the southbound lanes between Spring Mountain and Flamingo Roads. They say a passenger from another vehicle shot and struck the victim at least one time, causing them to crash into the center median. The driver was taken to a hospital where they were pronounced dead. The shooting closed southbound lanes of that freeway that later reopened. The shooting does remain under investigation. A man was fatally shot on Thursday at an apartment complex after police say he rushed into someone else's home. Metro Police say the man was acting out of control at a complex on the 8300 block of West Charleston Boulevard and jiggling the handle of an occupant's home. They noticed that there was a mom and her two kids exiting an apartment across the driveway. Uh, the, the male inside the apartment went to open the door to let the mom and her two kids know that there was a guy walking around and acting erratically. Immediately, the suspect reappeared and rushed into their apartment, at which point in time a fire was produced and he was shot by the occupants of the apartment. A $50,000 reward is now being offered to help find the person who left a dog to die in a tape-shut plastic tub by a dumpster. Reba the English Bulldog, who was found behind a Vons near Maryland Parkway, died after being taken to a Henderson Animal Hospital. Police are looking to find who is responsible for the dog's death and is asking the community to help solve this crime. Anyone with information is urged to contact Metro's Animal Cruelty Unit at 702-828-2907. Moving on to weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every bloom and thing. Sunny skies for today's forecast, and you can expect some isolated showers and thunderstorms after 1 p.m. this afternoon. We'll be going into the triple digits by 12 p.m. and expecting a high near 108. Above normal temperatures will continue into this weekend, and a chance of afternoon and evening showers will continue for Saturday and Sunday, with temperatures right below 110 degrees and cooler overnight lows in the 80s. In Health, brought to you by Centerwell Senior Primary Care. Discover primary care focused on you. In our scorching heat, you might not feel the need to cook a hot meal. So here are a couple of healthy meals that will keep you cooking to a minimum. First recipe is for summer shrimp and avocado salad that includes fresh ingredients like cherry tomatoes, canned corn, chopped jalapeno, and scallions. Or you can maybe try a chicken salad with grapes that includes three cups of rotisserie chicken and Greek yogurt. For the full recipes and more, you can visit lvrj.com. Sports, sponsored by PT's Taverns. With over 65 locations, there's a PT's near you. Visit ptstaverns.com. Las Vegas native Katie Grimes struggled against the current of the Seine River, finishing in 15th place in the 10-kilometer open water race in Paris. The 18-year-old swimmer who trains with Sam Pipers of Nevada said the event was the hardest thing she'd ever done. The race was her final in the Olympics, and she recorded a time of 2 hours, 6 minutes, and 29.6 seconds. In business brought to you by G-Bank, your best banking experience ever. The Las Vegas City Council voted to allocate more than $22 million towards two affordable housing projects near downtown. These funds will help build more than 100 apartments at Sunrise Avenue and North 28th Street. Construction will total over $51 million and is scheduled to break ground in December and be completed by the spring of 2026. Meanwhile, the Arthur McCann Senior Apartments at 800 Northeastern Avenue are getting a facelift costing more than $35 million. Renovations include new energy efficient appliances, flooring, cabinets, counters, and fixtures, although it's not clear as to when it'll be completed. Vegas Nation brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. While the Raiders still have no definitive answer on who the starting quarterback may be, head coach Antonio Pierce said Wednesday that each will play a quarter tomorrow against the Vikings. He also spoke to what attributes stand out for each signal caller. Raiders are classic quarterback, drop back quarterback, right? Put that back foot and let it hit and then let that ball release. Highly accurate, can throw the ball outside of numbers. Gardner's really savvy. Does a good job of controlling, poise, feels things around him, good feel in the pocket. 
obviously when the play breaks down, he's really he's really good at that. It's up to our offensive staff to put that together. What works for him? What helps our offense be effective and have opportunity to win games? Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. An NFL preseason triple header kicks off today. The Houston Texans are two and a half point road favorites over the Pittsburgh Steelers at the Westgate Superbook, and the total is 37 and a half. The Atlanta Falcons are two and a half point away favorites over the Miami Dolphins, and the total is 38 and a half. The Philadelphia Eagles are one point road favorites over the Baltimore Ravens, who had their NFL record 24 game preseason winning streak snapped last year. The total is 34. In Lifestyle News, LV Craft Shows has been bringing you the finest craft and gift show since 1999. Visit lvcraftshows.com for our upcoming events. The Las Vegas Raiders are making sure local students look fresh and feel good for their first day of school by giving them free haircuts. 7 at 7's Heidi Fang tells us more. The Raiders gave back to the community and also supported local business with their free back to school haircuts, a promotion that's been going on for the past three years with the silver and black. We're just giving back to the community, giving haircuts, backpacks, and just getting the kids ready for school and well groomed. It's a known fact that you kind of feel the way that you look, so we're giving them a jump start to, to look their best so they can be their best. The Raiders back to school efforts also included the giveaway of free backpacks and supplies to students who attended the event. And athletes from Rancho High School's football programs also received the opportunity to attend the Raiders week two preseason game at Allegiant Stadium against the San Francisco 49ers. Raiders! And with school starting for CCSD on Monday, we want to see photos from the first day back. You can send those to 7 at ReviewJournal.com for a chance to feature that special student in your life with a shout out next week. Now for entertainment sponsored by Arizona Charlie says live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Country music superstar Jason Aldean is opening a restaurant on the Strip. The 22,500 square foot venue will include a dining area, seven bars, and a view overlooking the Strip. The restaurant is part of a two-story complex that also includes live music and an iHeartRadio recording studio. It's expected to debut this fall at 63 City Center. Thanks for watching 7 at 7. You can also watch our newscasts on other platforms like Apple TV and Roku. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more local news updates. We'll see you here tonight for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. The 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.